cloudy epoxy, fish eyes, dust, surface swirls. These are some of the most common issues our customers have when working with epoxy. I'm going to show you what some of these things look like and tell you how to prevent them from happening. We're going to start with soft spots. Soft spots are caused by the, using the wrong mix ratio for the product you're using or for not mixing the product according to the mixing directions. You can see that in some spaces it's kind of rubbery or cured, but in others it's really soft and kind of gooey. The way that you prevent soft spots is by making sure that you know the correct mix ratio for the epoxy resin that you are using and that you read the directions on correctly mixing the product before you start pouring your epoxy. What you see here are waves in the surface of your cured epoxy. The way that you get waves is by using your heat gun too close to the end of the work life of your epoxy. On the directions for every epoxy you're going to use, it'll give you a work life. Like the 321 epoxy resin has a 30 minute work life at 70 degrees Fahrenheit. The way to prevent getting waves in the surface of your epoxy is to stop using your heat gun before the end of your work life. What you see here are air bubbles on the surface of this cured epoxy resin. Air bubbles naturally occur when mixing the epoxy resin. If your wood is primed, most of the air bubbles will dissipate naturally. If you still have a problem, you can use a heat gun. Keep it about six inches away from the surface of the epoxy. Put it on a low setting. Make sure that the heat gun is always moving back and forth. And you should see the air bubbles rise to the top of the epoxy and pop. Fish eyes are caused by silicone or oil contaminants somewhere on the wood or around where the epoxy is being applied. The best way to get rid of fish eyes is to sand down that area, clean as directed, and make sure that all the contaminants have been removed from the area. The swirls you see in the surface of this epoxy are caused by scraping the sides of the mixing containers you're pouring your epoxy resin from. Don't scrape the sides of your mixing containers. You run the risk of introducing unmixed epoxy into your mixed epoxy, causing these surface swirls. The little ray spots that you see are dust from leaving this piece of wood in an environment that was not dust free. The best way to make sure this doesn't happen is to close off the area that you've poured your epoxy in for 24 hours. What you see here is a piece of wood that had epoxy on it and was left out in the rain before it cured. It's really important when using epoxy for outdoor applications like pebble paving to make sure it's going to be dry for the next 24 to 48 hours. This is 321 epoxy that was exposed to moisture before it was cured. You can prevent this from happening by making sure that your epoxy stays completely dry for the 24 hour period it needs to cure. You can fix cloudy epoxy by completely sanding it off of your project and starting again. If you pebble paved with epoxy and your pebbles turn this white color, you're going to need to grind those pebbles up and start again. We have lots of information, tips, and other videos on how to use our Aeromarine Products epoxy resin at aeromarineproducts.com.